Hello everyone! For this video, it is going to be news on the Speedstorm Motor Strike Battle Set. Now, I should clarify that on the site, it does say the release date should be July 30th, but uh, if you do a simple search on the actual site, it just says for everything July 30th, so uh, just use common sense here. It's probably a placeholder date, and I, I wouldn't make the big... By the way, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and click bell notifications on. Leap in judgment and saying that that would be the date. If we pay attention to what it's been for the past few years, it has been early to mid-July for these summer sets. Now for the Motor Strike Battle Set, it is a motorized stadium. So it's gonna be slightly more expensive than the normal stadium. And it talks about how it features a motor vortex disc supposed to go in the center and everything, motorized energy zone, you know, stuff we already know. Now we get name confirmation. Lucius Endbringer D12 TSP uh, 22. And then after Hyperion Flamebringer, uh, D49 TSP21. So they all have Bringer in the name. Now I'm curious if they're doing this on purpose to get around the whole limit break thing, which makes me speculate that probably the reason why it's such a specific name change for all of them is probably because they're not gonna have the limit break system, which I wouldn't be surprised at all. I mean, they've been cutting down on all the gimmicks. Uh, really, they had the gimmicks in Wave 1, and then after the other waves came along, and like, except for Mirage. You know, Mirage, Mirage got a pass. Mirage got a pass. Mirage, they decided to give the gimmick to, but yeah, rest of the bays doesn't seem likely. So, as far as the discs go, Lucius Endbringer has Vertical, and Hyperion Flamebringer has six. Now, I feel really annoyed by this because if this was just like a random combination, I could care less. But these are like the main bays. And the reason why I feel this is so annoying is it feels very cheap from Hasbro to be reusing the old discs and not making, even if the new discs aren't that good, at least make something new. The fact that they're reusing the old is really just like such a, an annoying thing. Because listen, Whatever, the Hypersphere discs, none of them are good. They should have had better weights. Okay, then after you get the chassis discs, and while 3A-D could have had a better weight, you know, at least they're kind of close to zero, and they're, they're, they're somewhat considered, you know, whatever, right? And, and then you get the fact that afterwards, like, Triumph Dragon comes with armed. Is it armed or vertical? I, you know, I'm, I always mix up those two discs. And then after World Sprizen has limited, and Brave Altrek never got uh, 2A, and... Well, Fafnir got the 1A disc, but it doesn't count. It should have had 2S. And it seems like Hasbro's really cutting corners, because... Oh, think about it like this, like... For some Speed Storm tips, they have the gimmicks. I'm like, okay, sweet, awesome, okay. Evolutionalize the gimmick, it has the rubber. But then after, okay, why doesn't Merger have the rubber? Why doesn't Exceed have the rubber? Okay, whatever, we, we, we let it slide. Okay, then after we, what about United? Or, is it called United? Is it? Okay, I don't know what United is called. I don't know what United Speedstorm is called. I said United. If it is United, then it is. But Unite doesn't have the rubber. And then after you look at some of the other stuff, and it's like, well, what are they doing? And it, it's weird because Wave 1 was so strong, and then after you see the other waves, and they're like, they're cutting costs again. And like this, okay. This is like an expensive set, first of all. This is like, I understand the stadium is what's bringing up the cost, but it's no excuse to like, just like pick like six and, and what is it? Arm vertical, which one is it? And, and vertical, like at least give it six with like a frame or something. Are you kidding me? Like they didn't make any of the limit break discs into normal discs, which is whatever, but at least don't pick bad discs. Like, whatever, okay, fine. Helios has outer. Okay, whatever. Sucked they didn't do a limit break version of the disc, but, uh, okay, whatever. It, it's, I'm worried, man. I am really worried uh, for this Hasbro stuff, because it's, it, you can, I've seen it in the comments. I've seen it in the comments, so I know I'm not being too negative or I'm being unfair. It, it's a very strange spiral that goes downwards. Now, a big thing that's going to be important for this set, as well as future Speedstorm releases, is slopes. Rise had very consistent, good slopes. There were releases that had very solid slopes. And I'm gonna give Rise credit where credit's due for the people that want to say, oh, Rise sucked. Like, they, 
they got to consider what exactly is Rise and what they did good and what they did bad. The issue with Speedstorm is other than the fact that they've managed to now cut the gimmicks away slowly, it's that the chips don't have good slopes. Now what I mean by good slopes, I'm talking like Achilles A5, Joker J5, Genesis, or even the, the Lunar Rise chip, like that kind of type. All of them are just kind of okay. Like even Lunar L6 is just like, okay, it's not crazy tight. And that becomes the issue because the issue is not just gonna be that they nerf the gimmicks, but if all the slopes are weak on them, then it's not doing them any favors. Even if a tip has a good spring, like Revolver or Destroyer. So I hope Lucius, uh, L, L, well, see that's the confusing thing with the name. <laughs> Oh no, they call, it, they call it, okay, they call it Evo Lucius, and they call it Evo IP, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, because that Evo name and the thing was so confusing when they just randomly introduced it. But you get the idea. I hope those have better slopes than the original ones, obviously. And I hope it's going to be good. If the bays end up sucking and they don't have the gimmicks or whatever, at least we can look forward to the stadium. You know, that's at least the one good positive. It's very tough that they could even screw up that stadium. It's the same as TT. It's just a little spiral thing. It's a little fun. They ride around. So I have complete high hopes for the stadiums, the bays, not so much. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the bays, knowing the parts and everything? Do you think that, oh, actually the answer should just be yes. I was gonna ask, do you think Hasbro should just give, give us the discs we want? Uh, but yeah, other than that, we know nothing else. Um, I'm so curious when that app is gonna update, but yeah, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day.